What's up guys, this is Taylor, and uh, I actually saw a car accident the other day. Yep, I actually saw one. Like, people always, you always see car accidents on the internet, and you always see crazy shit like that, but you never actually see it in real life, and I actually did. It was pretty cool, like, and that sounds pretty awful, but basically this is what happened. I was within about probably eight feet of it when it happened. I was, I was walking on the sidewalk, and uh, as you leave my apartment complex, uh, there's a little road that takes you out to the main road, and then that's where you walk down to get to class and such. Uh, and so I was walking out, and as I was about to turn onto the main road, so I was still on this little road that's by my apartment, and I was uh, right, right about to walk out onto the road, and this, uh, this giant uh, red suburban thing that was, like, jacked up, uh, like, I don't know what the term is for it. Like, it, it had those huge tires, and it was bigger than the most Suburbans. I don't know, whatever. Whatever the hell you want to call that. Uh, how about a douchebag mobile? All right, it was a douchebag mobile, and uh, it was backing out way too quickly out of the uh, the church group parking lot that's next to my uh, uh, next to my apartment, who, by the way, if any of them watch this, Jesus Christ, keep it down. I try to study sometimes, and with your banging of music, it makes it difficult. Like, oh my god. I, the other night I was trying to... Oh, I already got started on a different story. I need to finish this one. So anyway, uh, the douchebag mobile was... Uh, was backing out and it was just whipping it out like way too fast way too fast of a uh, of a back out and uh, wow that was a weird knife and then uh, as it was backing out this little civic pulls up and the civic stops and it's waiting for the uh, big douche bag mobile to stop but of course the big douche mag bag mobile is so jacked up it can't see the civic because it's so close and it's just uh, it's imminent and uh, the, the, the civic starts laying on the horn really loud and the guy just does not pay any heed to it at all just smashes into the front of the Civic. Like, the douchebag mobile had a little bit of damage, but the Civic, like, the whole front of it was just destroyed. Like, it looked awful. And, like, it was... It, 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 he was only probably going, like, I don't know, like, 10 miles an hour in reverse. Like, which doesn't seem like that much, but I guess when it's just to a little Civic standing still, that can be pretty devastating. But, I thought I don't know, maybe it's kind of bad that I thought that was entertaining, but I'd never seen a car accident before, and, like, I, I saw it, and, like, as I saw the guy pulling out of the thing, I was like, oh, he's gonna hit that car. He's gonna hit it. He's definitely gonna hit it. Oh, my God, he's gonna hit it. And it was like, I don't know, it was like I saw it beforehand. Let me try and get all these guys one bullet in them, so I can just knife... There we go. There we go. Why Call of the Dead, you may ask? I have no idea. Like, honestly, it sounds just kind of, I don't know, melancholy, but I really have been getting bored of video games recently. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just, I need something new. I need a new stimulus, you know? Is anybody else feeling like that? Just, like, everything is boring right now, and we just need to kind of, you know, move on. That's how I feel. Oh, yeah, round two. The only problem with this map is it is just so dark. I wish it would stay this bright all the time. Alright. What was that other story I was about to start? I don't even remember. <gasps> oh, yeah. Where are you? Oh, I'm gonna F you up, George. I'm gonna F you in the A. With this gun. There we go. That'd be awesome if, like, I played this and the only perks that I allowed myself to get were when George died. Like, that's such a difficult challenge. That's probably impossible. Like, there's no way people could do that. Alright, so... What do I want to do? I want to run over here, Holmes. That is my Mexican voice. I don't have a very good Mexican voice, I'm sorry. Talk to Gassy Mexican about that. He's got a great Mexican voice. He also has a lot of great voices. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about the fact that he's actually Mexican. Of course he has a good Mexican voice. Yeah, this is taking too long. Yeah, get, get shit on, bitch! Uh, what was the other story I was going to say? It had to do with that car, didn't it? Back in Oh yeah, the church group that's always singing. Oh my god. The other... Okay, so on Sundays, I assume that they're all going to be just belting it out. Belting it out over there, making a ton of noise, lots of drums. And like, like for those, like, to get a basic understanding of this, like, there's like probably 
30 yards of forest between us. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but, like, think about that. That's a lot of distance for, like, sound to disperse. And, like, I like to keep my windows open because I like the way the weather feels outside and I like the wind and the breeze and it's a, it's a nice time of year. And so I had the windows open and even through all that forest on, like, Sundays and Mondays and Wednesdays or whenever they're doing their thing, like, I can just hear them and it's like, oh. And it's like, not, like maybe if it was good music, I wouldn't mind, but it's not even good music. It's, like, all distorted. It sounds, it's just, it's, oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Makes it so difficult to study psychology. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I really have not been uh, doing my due diligence on this map. Oh, <gasps> please, more. Oh, yeah. Doubling points. Neither of them died. <laughs> come on, come on, I got time to reload. A little bit more, eh, eh, eh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Things are going swimmingly. Alright, there's one guy left. Hmm. Look at that. Look how real that looks. Just just standing right here, looking at the snow. I feel like I'm in a Christmas movie. Now you're going to ruin that Christmas feeling, George. Alright. This is going really well. I have a shit ton of points. I can, like, almost go straight to Jug. I still get All right, this is gonna this is gonna be a good game. I can tell. I can feel it in my bones. What does that mean? I heard an old person say that the other day in one of my classes, and like he was like, I can just feel it in my bones when like a student's gonna do well in a test. And like I couldn't tell if he was joking or if that was like something old men say. Is this something old men say? I feel like that's an old man thing. Like you know how like when people go to war, they say they can like feel the weather in their kneecap or something. You know what I've decided is, like, I get so tired of, like, all these, like, political groups, like, picking on different people, like, the, the, like, I don't know, it seems like, like, liberals are always, like, telling conservatives they're dumb fucks who aren't worth anything, and conservatives are always, like, hating on gays and, like, hating on uh, public programs and such. I'm just going to start blaming groups that have nothing to do with it. Nothing. Nothing at all. And that way, when I talk about it, people are going to get confused, and they're not going to know, like, what's talking about. Like, they're, like, they're going to assume that, like, I know more about an issue than them just because I bring up, a, like, a, an organization. Like, like, let me think. Like, what could I do? Like, like it's the God, that goddamn economy. KKK is firing up again, huh? And then, like, they're like, what? The, the KKK? And I'll be like, yeah, man. Jesus Christ, the KKK. Taking, taking all tax money for their racist agenda. See, just say stuff like that. They won't know what the hell I'm talking about. What else could I say? I could... God, there are so many things that you can just make up. So now, from so now on, when, when anybody asks me in the comments section what I'm mad about, if I'm mad about something, I'm just going to make up an organization. When they like, when they say, like, Taylor, why couldn't you get to a higher round on Call of the Dead? I'll be like, God damn, Jesse Jackson and the NAACP fucking up my zombie games. And then I'm going to blame random politicians. Like, God damn it, Ron Paul. You bitch. Oh my god, there's quite a few people. Alright, I have to get 700 points to open this window, or I will surely die. I need to get 530 points. I need to get 480 points. Oh, we're, we're doing math for days. 820. There we go. Oh, that would've been cool. Oh, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Whoa! Hey, go watch this. Get me here. Oh. No, you can't get me. Cause you're a dumb shit. 